I'm Laura for Poker News and I'm here with Matt Savage. Matt, you don't need any introduction uh, to the poker world. How are you doing? I'm doing great, except for bubbling the study <laughs> tournament a couple days ago. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, you know, life's good. Everybody's in town and uh, the weather's amazing. So, Will you be jumping into anything else while you're here? Uh, not today. I'm going to the Golden Knights game, but uh, hopefully uh, another event or two before it's all over. So what I have to ask you about, the Hall of Fame, you've been nominated a few times already, which in itself is a, is a, a massive compliment. Do you think this is the year? Uh, it could be the year. I uh, honestly think that I'll probably finish second again to Ali Alezra this year, but uh, you know, you never know. We'll, we'll find out in a couple of days. What does it mean to you to be nominated? It means a lot. Um, I've been in this industry for 30 years. Uh, I think I've made a lot of positive influences on the industry. So uh, for me to get in would be a big deal. Uh, it would have been a bigger deal when my dad was alive, who passed away a few years ago. Um, but uh, being nominated six times is an honor in itself. So uh, hopefully it comes at some point, but uh, you never know. There's always a lot of tough competition, obviously, for it. Do you think that they should separate it out so you're not there as a player, but those who contribute to poker, not necessarily as a player, there could be its own category, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I never thought that that was a thing. I didn't think that we needed that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe we do at this point. Uh, there's so many people that are mm -hmm. coming up, turning 40, that will, uh, again, be nominated at some point. Um, but again, I got nominated with everybody else, so I kind of feel like, I was hoping to get in you know, this way and then in the future maybe do something different. I actually think that there could be a lot of great things done with the Hall of Fame, but of course I can't really be too outspoken about it before I actually get in. So uh, I would love to see, you know, get in this way and then hopefully in the future we make some positive changes. Of course there's a lot of people that deserve to be in uh, that have not uh, yet been nominated, so uh, I think there will be some changes in the future. And speaking of changes, you were back with the WSOP back in 2002, 2004. You've, it's changed a lot. You've seen a lot of changes along the way. What do you think the WSOP could do for the next generation of poker players? How could they take it forward? Do you have any suggestions? Well, I just know they're doing a lot of great things. I mean, obviously, it's the biggest and, and uh, best tournament uh, in the world is going on right now. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of legacy with the and tradition with the World Series of Poker. And I think that they're doing a lot to keep that in store. So I, I'm, I'm very happy with what they're doing. Uh, I know if it moves out of this property next year, it's going to be another big change. Mm -hmm. uh, back when I was there, it was at Binion's Horseshoe, and that was, you know, a, a lot of tradition in that building. So, uh, you know, I think that they have some of the things that they do over there for the World Series of Poker, uh, for the Hall of Fame and things like that are still uh, in place over at Binion's Horseshoe, so you'll get a chance to go down and see it. But uh, I think, you know, continuing what they're doing, uh, growing it, making it bigger and bigger. Uh, and I think, that they're, like I said, they're doing a lot of great things for it as it is. Brilliant, and thanks so much for talking to us today. Of course. But that's all from me. I'm Laura for Poker News. Our coverage of the WSOP is powered by Club Gigi.